match of the day, round eight. Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club are playing East Belmont here at Baker's Oval. And the home side, pretty commanding lead at, at quarter time. 5-5-35, five, five, East Belmont 1-1-7, one, one, 28 points of difference. And Scotty Cowie has been the difference in the forward line so far. Three goals for the regular fullback here at the Cheetahs, so he's done well. We just have a look at the... Uh, the Cheetahs side, they've got Hill in the middle, Ingwison and Scott with Justin Ladder who had a pretty good first quarter. And Keegan still doing the ruck work for East Belmont with Travis Kelly. Mirko Sneller's back in there in the centre and Chris Stern. So, as we said, Sneller was moved back to the back line late stage of that first quarter, but he's back in the middle now. The umpire now starts the second quarter. Look out to the halfback flank. Ladder gets the tap down to Ingwison, back towards Scragger Craig on his non-preferred right. Foot goes out towards Westwick, runs up to it, can't take the ball. Stewie Scott now taps it out towards Buchanan, traps it, got no support. Sensational handball to Travis Kelly. Quick right foot kick, Neil. Leads Sutherland in the race. Sutherland, though, no, sits and waits. Right foot kicks a good one. Getting back towards Franey and also Harris go running back with the flight of the ball. Is it going to bounce the right way? Sam Lakino sees it through for a rush behind to the East Belmont side. So a good start by the Lions. They pushed it long. For a uh, long into the forward line, so it's a good start. Yeah, Harris out towards Ingwison on 47 and takes the mark. <laughs> so good call there, Peter Landy. <laughs> goes out towards Legal now off half back, running up towards Beekman's. Take can't take the mark. Bell's there with him. Keegan gets a push in the back, no free kick. Bell gets held on to without the ball and will take the free kick. 5 5 35. East Belmont 1 2 8. GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard and a few spots of rain starting to hit the Baker's Oval ground here in this second quarter. Good use of the body by Sutherland, but he's got no support. Ian Nelly gives it towards Hill, tapped it on. Vinny Lehman running through. Oh, poor handball. Frank Ian Nelly has to run back and get it now, but good shepherd by Lehman. Ian Nelly can't pick it up. He does now. Lehman stayed with him in support. Poor handball by Lehman again. Ingwison puts him under the hammer. Hill now. Oh, goes for the big soccer style cannon arc kick. And can't do anything with it. That's poor play there from the Cheetahs across half back and on the wing position. So a boundary throw in. I think he thought if he was going to take it, he was going to get tackled straight away. But he probably would have been better belting it on, trying to kick it very hard to kick a ball when it's going like that. Certainly. Throw in now. Ladder and Keegan running over the back. Lehman. Ladder. Good roving again from the ruck work. Up towards Truen. Can't take it with him. Kicked off the ground by Joseph. Back towards Ingwison. Takes a mark again. And he's had a good first quarter and a good start to the game in this second quarter. Scott running across the wing. Left foot kick by him. Only falls as far as Dean. Right foot kick by him long towards Ricks. Can't take the mark. McGaw Buchanan got one high and is still down at centre half forward. Kick off the ground by Harris out towards Stewie Scott. Well shepherded by Lacuno. Handball is slick back towards Lacuno. Neil's there. Can he keep it in? He can't do so. And a boundary thrown at half forward. Buchanan just getting up at centre half forward now after that heavy knock. Free kick given away there on the boundary line by Tungy. Just over assertive there after <laughs> being paid for a boundary line throw in. So a kick by Dean now goes up. Harris in front. Good mark. That's what he's renowned for. And Andrew Harris takes the mark in front of Franey. Yeah, could, it should have been 50. He didn't call play on. So 50 against Dave Franey there. And Andrew Harris will be able to relieve the pressure for the Cheetahs because he's going to get a 50-metre penalty. And that's a bit more like 50 metres from the umpire on this occasion. Brings him up. better if they play the right 50 into the wind, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is, Harris now. Kick out is a sensational kick towards Lehman, but he's been... The umpire has called the ball back to centre half back, so Andrew Harris will have to take the kick again. And that'll just give the Lions a bit of a chance to pick up their players. He had Ian Alley on the wing short. He goes now, the lead's on from Rathji, goes in that direction, takes the mark in front of McLaughlin on the wing position. Good pace for a big bloke, uh, Jason. Yeah, we'll pump it long now towards Cowie getting back there. Now they have to rove. Stern rose, good tackle. Cowie, he's dropped the ball, no free kick. Hill gets it on towards, that was Scott back in towards Westwick. Can he line it up for a goal? He can do so. Good kick off one step from Dean Westwick. And he kicks his first goal and has kicked Geelong West sixth. Good build up there from the Cheetahs, uh, Gus. Yeah, well, it, uh, once again, it comes to what we talked about earlier with Scragger. You know, you've got to punish the blokes that uh, give away the 50 metre penalties. And um, and that's what happened, although it was pretty uh, good umpire, really. It was technical, but it was good because he hadn't uh, run off his mark. He just looked sideways and went to kick. So, but yeah, it's uh, paid the ultimate price for 50 metre penalty. Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club, 6 5 41 lead. East Belmont 1 2 8 on the GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard. We've been going four and a half minutes in this second quarter. Back to the centre now. Keegan to do the ruck work against Ladder. Goes up now. Keegan over the top as Ladder stood his ground. Tackle there was Ingwistons by Sneller. Good play by Sneller. Leaves the, boot, the ball free towards 
Posman goes up towards half forward. Can't take the mark over the back there was Damien Kelly. Neil tries to trap it close to the boundary line. All players are going to see it over. And it's going to be a boundary throw in between half forward and the forward pocket. Just on that 47 metre line that Gust can't kick from. We've heard that in the first quarter already. <laughs> so Ladder and Keegan to do the ruck work. They've come down from the centre bounce. Thrown in now, Keegan takes the front position, gets it back down towards Stern, can't keep it in. In fact, he's kicked it out second time in this match. That he's had a little kick off the ground and has given away the free kick for a kick on the full. Out towards Ian Nelly at halfback now. Sitting over the top of the ball was Dean there. Pack develops at halfback. And we'll have a ball up on the outer side. When I was younger there, uh, Jason, from that particular, I used to be able to kick drop kick goals over my head from out there. So I used to do it pretty easy. Well, we know you're a legend, so that's all right. It's OK. And I'm sure everybody at the Western watching this replay knows you're a legend because be, most of the Blue West boys will be there tonight, I'd say, seeing as they know you're commentating. Out towards Posman now from the ruck contest at half 40. Slapped it out towards coming off there with Stern Ladder. Picks it up again. Left foot kick around the corner. Oh, it's a spiral torpedo punt up towards Craig. Ratchy running on it. As got a free kick there. Yeah, as Gus said, he's got pace to burn there. They've got the numbers at the front of the pack now. Lions. That was Frost out towards Keegan. He's got Sneller run past. McLaughlin also good. Tackle Scragger. Craig play on the call. Falls to the back of the pack. Hill. He's got Lakino in support. That's Sam. Oh, Scragger. Craig's runs through without the ball. And gets a heavy bump out towards Harris. Good tap on towards Lehman and Ian Alley who run through the centre. Lehman now. Joseph comes at him. Handball over the top to Truen. He can set something up now. He goes long. Cowie one out. Getting back there. Good use of the body by Cowie. It's in the forward pocket. Goes up there. Good roving there by the love child. And the love child's put it through for his first goal. And that's what we said in the first quarter about having Rovers off the back of the pack for Cowie. Yeah, just before uh, Cookie got injured there a couple of weeks ago, he was uh, he was always in perfect position at the front of the pack. He was just a bit stiff he got injured. And he's probably been a good option for us. And uh, he's proved that by just kicking that goal in. Interesting to note that Frank Ernelli's ran from the halfback flank. Hasn't touched the ball, but ended up at centre-half forward. He was always an option there, which always makes it healthier for the blokes around you. Good Gee, for Harrow's punch on there too. Exactly, and we said about uh, punching on out here, Hill, instead of trying to kick the ball fresh yep. air, if he had it tapped it on, exactly what Harris did then, set up the goal. Yep, yep, so uh, good thinking by Harrow, which is, uh, might have been luck more than a good judgment, I don't know, but uh, just have the Finney Lehman and Frank were in the centre there by themselves, and it's gone from there. Geelong West Cricket and Football Club, 7-5-47 leaders. Belmont 1-2-8 on the GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard. Paul bounce by the umpire. Falls to Ingwison in the middle of the ground. Sneller yeah. runs through. Good play, Mirko Sneller. He's at Sanar Ford now. The kick out towards Sutherland. It's over his head. Neil getting back there with Nick Lacino, And he's got time. And to set up across half back. Scott runs towards the back pocket. Takes the mark in front of Chris Stern. He's got Andy Hill short. He goes in that direction now, coming up Vinnie Lehman as well. He's got the sit over Keegan. Good play though by Keegan. We'll get the free kick for a hold. And Trevor Keegan at half forward will put the Lions back into attack. Right foot kick by him, long towards the leader. Sutherland comes out at a great pace. Good punch away. Neil Posman at the front of the pack. Can't trap it. Legel's over there also. On hands and knees. Free kick found, was it? It has been. Sutherland has been sent off for uh, abuse towards the umpire. So he's been shown the yellow card, and it'll be 15 minutes for Jamie Sutherland. So that's really going to hurt the uh, the Lions now. A bit stiff there because I thought he's been working hard. He's been leading hard, and he's used his body. Well, he's just a bit stiff. Obviously, he's been a bit disappointed in the decision just made. Just had a bit of a word to himself, and the umpire's nabbed him. Yep, so Sutherland off the ground. So they're down to 17 now, East Belmont. Ball up at half forward for East Belmont. Ladder takes it out of the ruck, right foot kick this time. Dean leads in the race for the ball. Lehman's there also falls to Frost at the back of the pack. Right foot kick by him back towards the half forward. Oh, the leap by Buchanan. Pay the mark, umpire he has. That was a sensational mark. He had the ride over the top of Harris. And this kid can play. Don't worry about that. Came from South Barwon and can play the game. Buchanan, we watched him last year in the final series and had a really good final series for East Belmont. And... Buchanan now will be kicking from outside the 47 metre line. So it'll be a fair kick. He's going to have a bit of the bruise behind him though. It has been swirling around, but it's probably favouring the left of screen. Buchanan now. Finish off the... Oh, it's a poor kick off the boot. It's going to fall up towards Kelly, running out there. Ladder. Franey roves at the front, can't take the ball. Lakino off the ground. That was Sam out towards Ingwerson. And he's got Ratchy in support. He's got Stewie Scott in support. Also, who ran deep from the back pocket. Good little kick towards Lehman at halfback and takes the uncontested mark. Plays on now. Puts himself under pressure to kick the ball. Goes towards Ratchy. I think he was out there. That'll be out of bounds on the full, is it? And it's going to be a free kick, isn't it? No, it's not. It's going to be... 
It's going to be a boundary throw in. The people around realise that there are young blokes running. Yeah, that's right. And they've had trouble with umpiring um, numbers, so they've yep. got to try and keep these young guys in it. So yep. it falls back towards the boundary line. Stern runs without the ball. He's got McLaughlin in support also. It's close to the boundary line. Ian Ellie now can measure the pass, but he hasn't measured the pass well because he's hit the tree. The young fella's in the right spot now. He is, he is. <laughs> Out of bounds on the full. <laughs> and, a <free> <laughs> and a free kick <laughs> is going to be taken by Stern. I think that was Skeen goes up good. Mark Justin Ladder in the middle of the pack there. And has been a dominant ruckman on the ground so far today. Kick out wide towards Craig. Dean comes at him. Good kick. And Craig takes the mark. Scragger. Handball to Harris. Oh, drops it. Has he got support? Scragger. Craig getting back there. He traps it though. Gets his hands free. Only as far as Posman though. He's wrapped up by Sam Lacino. Falls to Craig. Scragger runs straight through. He's kicked smothered by Joseph. And falls back towards Nick Lacino. Good use of the body by Joseph. He's got support in Damian Kelly also. Free kick found, holding the man. And uh, the umpire's pointed towards the eastbound direction, but I think he was going to give it to Craig. Yes, he has. And Scrag at Craig at halfback was held without the ball. Will take the free kick. Goes along with his left boot up towards Westwick. Over the back of the pack, the Lions have the numbers. Scott runs straight through without the ball. It sits. Frost is there. McLaughlin gets out now. Handball. Good handball to Keegan. He's got nobody in support, so he has to turn around and kick it with his right boot up towards Campy. Tries to trap it. He's got Sam Lacino against him, fraining off the ground. Ladder at centre-half back. Has he got good vision? He has in this occasion. He's got Ratchie and Scott. It's over their head, though. Ratchie now. Look at that pace to burn. He's on half forward on his non-preferred foot. Great oh, kick, though. Back to Cow. He can't take the mark. Falls to the back of the pack. Bell gives it across to Sneller. Good play by him out towards Frost, and they're going to be able to relieve the, relieve the pressure of the Lions. He's on half back. Oh, poor kick, though. And they've got the numbers at west across half forward and also the centre line at the moment. Scr Scragger Craig gets one high. Advantage paid. Inguison gives it over to Darren Cook. High right foot kick by him. He's going to put Lehman under pressure. Coming at it there with Suckling. Falls towards Truen now. Now he's got support on the left-hand side. He tries to kick it back in towards centre half forward. Snell is going to trap it. He's got support also in Bell. Elects to go further afield towards Keegan. Close to the boundary line. It's going to beat the big Ruckman out. And Truen also for a boundary throw in out of sight on the half forward flank. I don't know whether the opposition side likes Cracker's head, but he always seems to be copping them up around the top end of the spot there. I don't know how he can hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to note there that Scotty Truant centred the ball through centre half forward, but he had Al Beekman's runner down. Mm. I know he's pushing wide, but he's still clear, and it just comes back to that contest we were talking about earlier. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, it's went straight to Mirko Sneller, so, uh, but anyway. Boundary throwing at half forward on the outer side. Beekman's to do the ruck work against Keegan. Posman gets in there and gets the tap down in the end. Ingwerson at the bottom of the pack also falls towards Frost. Handball is good to Keegan. Is at half back now. Right foot kick, kick blindly again, trying to kick towards his opposite number. He's done so. Ladder takes the mark and runs off. Look at that. Good play, Justin Ladder. Left foot kick by him is good up towards the leader, Cow. It's over the back of the pack again. True on this occasion tries to trap the ball. He can't do so. Westwick's there. He's got Ratji. He tries to go with the outside of the right boot. He does so. It could be a goal if it runs through. No, good play there by Bell to get back. They've still got the numbers though, Geelong West. Ratchy, left foot kick by him in the forward pocket. I think he's just missed to the near side. He has done so and one behind. Interested to see Scotty Cow. He never sort of overruns the ball or underruns. He's always getting his hands to it. <coughs> Excuse me. In the second quarter, interesting there that uh, he's under. He's gone under the ball a few times. Yeah, Geelong West seven six forty eight with that result behind from Ratchy. He's been at one two eight, so forty points of difference on the GDFL Bingos in a second quarter scoreboard. Kick in by Bell. Only goes as far as Andrew Harris, who's made position in front of the pack there and taken the mark at centre-half forward. He's a long way up from his back line position. Well, in fact, there's only one player in the East Belmont forward line, one contest at the moment. Pushing the back there, no free kick. Keegan's got it. Right foot kick by him only as far as Stewie Scott across half forward. Takes the mark. In fact, it was touched, so he played on. Gave it back to Harris. Handball out towards Ian Nelly and also Lehman and Ian Nelly. He's shepherded. Now he's going to be wrapped up. Can't be wrapped him up. There the blokes around him helping. Good work by Mirko Stella there. And also Campy to take the free kick now. Handball back towards Campy now at half back. The kick is a poor one off the boot. Falls up towards Buchanan. He's got two against him. One of them's Legal. It's going to fall out now. And a boundary thrown the wing. And the east forward line. Nick Lacino's just getting back there now with Kelly, and that's the only two players in the East Belmont forward line. Well, I think what's happening is that the East Belmont half forwards are dragging uh, Geelong West bigger blokes down, and they're creating havoc across through the centre. Buchanan wraps it. Gets the ball now up towards that vacant forward line. Harris, as you said, Gus, looking still looking a little bit proppy there across half back. Chased the ball towards the boundary line and that, uh, well, couldn't keep that in. So it's going to be a boundary thrown at half forward for Edelmont. <coughs> thrown in now, ladder up against Franey. Ladder pucks it out of the ruck. Handball back towards Legal. Can't trap it. Joseph, 
He can. He tries to get the ball away. Pack develops at half four. The umpire will come in now and bounce the ball. And as you see in the East Belmont forward line here, still there's still Ianelli, Neal, and also Harris without players. So obviously there's one still spare there somewhere. And um, yeah. if they use it right and put him to a hole, it's probably to their advantage. Cook now at the bottom of the pack there with Travis Kelly. Another pack develops at half forward. So. <laughs> Gus has just found out there's a monitor three feet in front of his face instead of having to look between the monitor and the camera there. So, ball up now, ladder. Joseph coming over the top. Also, there was Buchanan tapped on by Travis Kelly. And it's out of bounds again. So, just getting stuck in that half forward line for the Lions at the moment. I just uh, prefer to watch it live, Jason. Well, so do I, mate. I don't like using that too often either, actually. So, you're, you're right there. You've joined me. You've joined the club. So, you'll keep pushing your eyes through that uh, little gaping hole there between Sean Cannon and the camera. That's a huge hole there, about three inches. <laughs> Falls out towards Joseph now. Buchanan traps it. He's wrapped up. He's got support there in Campy. Ian Alley, little Italian soccer kick off the ground. And a second one, he should know how to do that properly. Westwick out towards Keegan. Free kick found, pushing the back. And it's going to go to Trevor Keegan in the middle of the ground for East Belmont. So he'll be able to set something up. The lead's on from Kelly. It's a high kick. It's going to put his forwards under pressure. Kelly comes out. He was strong at the ball and took the mark in front. So a chance to the Lions now. He's at centre half forward. There's not much on offer. Buchanan led for him. He's going to go long though, is he? No, he's going to go to Buchanan. He faked the kick long too and kicked it short to Cam Buchanan. So he'll be kicking from about 35 out, 45 degree angle. And you'll probably have whatever wind's still here, I'd say he'd have it behind his back. Yeah, good kick there by Damien over to uh, Cam. So uh, he just had to jump on Jamie Legal there just over a couple of steps and pretty hard to make up if the kick's right. Goes in his right boot. I think it's a fair kick from there. No, he's just missed. And one behind to East Belmont. So they move to 1-3-9. Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club 7-6-48. Judy FL Bingo Centre second quarter score. But we've been going 15 minutes in this second quarter. And Cam Buchanan has two behinds this afternoon. Waiting for the ball to come back now. For Legel to do the kicking out for Geelong West. And we're also waiting for the dog to uh, finish his... Uh... <laughs> Sean's just got it on camera there. Thanks, the dog's just finished uh, giving Legel instructions of how to kick out. We have no, no end of uh, problem with dogs up here. They've got the signs around the ground for no dogs. And uh, there's well, that's nothing worse than trying to run laps and you've got to be four foot inside the boundary line so you don't get it all over yourself. You're playing in the backyard. That's why, Gus. You're yeah. playing in the backyard here. So that's why you've got dogs and you've got probably got barbecues here and everything. It's unbelievable. Yeah, you're probably, uh, <laughs> you're probably right there. <laughs> now, we're actually waiting for another footy because I think the footy went up on the roof, did it? No, somebody's got up and got it. So that's good. Actually, we haven't had a catch into the crowd yet. We've got a very big uh, crowd here today. Yeah. Big numbers come to watch this ground. Actually, you have too. It is a fair crowd, so, uh, well, the West supporters would be pretty happy at the moment. Le leading 7-6 to 1-3. Kick out by Legal straight down the centre. Best way home goes towards Neil and Joseve. Can't take the mark. Rove by Keegan again. His handball. It's going to put McLaughlin under pressure now. Booby gets around the call. Goes long with his right boot back towards Buchanan. Got the sit over Harris. Goes up. Good punch away. Harris. Rode by Frost. Right foot kick long over Kelly's head. Lakino getting back there. Oh, is it going to bounce through for a goal? I think it might have. It has. And Glenn Frost has kicked the goal. Started on half back. Good work there by McLaughlin. Good yeah. basic skills. Trevor Keegan well roved at the front there. So East Belmont kicked their second goal, 2-3-15, and they trailed along West Cricket and Football Club 7-6-48 on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. And McLaughlin, good play there off the wing. Glenn Frost finishing off with a goal that went over Lacuno's head and also Damian Kelly's head and bounced through for a goal. Back in the centre now. Sure, Scott's been a bit quiet this quarter, Jason. I just uh, look as though he just looks a bit crook there running along there. It's... Um I just wonder what's uh, what's happening there. Scragger Craig gets the ball now. Left foot kick up towards Ingwerson at half forward. Takes the mark. Plays on now. Oh, kick smothered by Frost. The last goal kicker out towards Sean Warren, who's on the ground. Back to Ingwerson. Good pick up on the half volley. Lehman can turn around and slam it through. Oh, he slips over the crucial stage. Darren Bell wraps him up. Over there, Westwick now. Mirko Sneller off the ground. Oh, Ingwerson's got up a bit proppy at centre half forward also. Free kick fan. It's going to go to East Belmont. And... Uh, Looks like Ernie Posman to take the free kick at half back. On the outer side, goes long towards Keegan. Scott's got the sit. Punches it to the front of the pack. Cook can't trap it. The Lions have still got the numbers. Johnny Lyons can't wrap it up. That's because he's been held. And we'll take the free kick at half back. On the outer side, Ingwerson looks like he's going to be coming off. Handball towards 
Posman back to Lyons. Right foot kick. Poor, but it's come off though. Adam Joseph's taken the mark close to the boundary line on the wing. McLaughlin. In fact, it's Buchanan, sorry, gives him the lead. Harris getting back. Goes up. Oh, Buchanan went up. Oh, I couldn't take the mark though. Ladder roved the pack again. Lacino chopped off by Travis Kelly. Nick Lacino gets in there now over the top of the ball. The umpire will come in and bounce the ball. And Ingwerson running off and... Uh, this is his first game back, Gus, for a while, Ingleson. Yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, not good for him. He was just looking good. I played the Rezies with him up at Bell Post Hill and he had a rip, ripper game. And, um, yeah, he's, uh, then he done a hamstring of training the week after, put him out for two or three weeks. He was unavailable last week. And Brett Wigmore's come back on and he doesn't look much better, so <laughs> he's limping around. Harris takes a good mark in front there of Buchanan. So on the defensive 50... Well, it's probably been the best two or three players to this stage of the game as well. Yep, Cook goes out one against three. The love child wraps it up. He's got nobody in support though. Keegan on hands and knees. Gives it to Franey. Handball is sensational. Adam, Adam Joseph. Oh, he was looking for Chris Sturm, but it only fell as far as Lehman. The key out towards Westwick takes a good sliding mark. He's done well, Westwick. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's done well. He's so, got Cam Pigley's number on this afternoon. Goes long. The lead is a long lead from Cowie, but Suckling gets across there and takes a good mark. Gives it back to Posman. Cowie falls over. Posman handball back's going to put Suckling under pressure. Yep. Is oh, poor handball. Craig now the scragger loves a goal too. Pushes it up towards a vacant forward line. Hill can walk in the goal as he he wouldn't want to miss him there and he hasn't. So Andy Hill had all the time in the world and put his first goal on the board. Did you see that ball go through? We haven't got a replay in the type of kick it was. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it, it wasn't looking too good off the boot. He wouldn't want to be too fur, too much further out than 15, would he really? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't. A, but anyway, it's got the major point. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a bad option there, kicking out from Harrow across half back there. He kicked out to the boundary line and uh, one on three. So we've just got to be careful that sort of stuff, the boys. And, uh, yeah. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. Long West Cricket and Football Club, 8 6 54. Lead East Belmont, 2 3 15. As we see coming onto the ground, Greg Williamson for East Belmont. And uh, well, Harris was looking a bit, little bit proppy across half back for Long West as well. And Brett Wigmore came back on. We said he looked a bit proppy. And Ingwitson's off the ground with an injury. So just have to be a little bit careful here. The cheaters tap on by Stuart Scott. Oh, he gets wrapped up there by Franey as he gets rid of the ball up towards Buchanan. Legal back on him now. Legal taps it out towards Neil, overruns the ball. Legal. On hands and knees towards Frank Ianelli. Good use of the body by Frank. A sensational handball towards Lacuno, but chopped off. It's going to be out of bounds now. And a bit of heavy play there on Stuart Scott also by the rival coach. And that's what you like to see. Stuart sure cops it every week. Pretty yeah, hard, he'd so be used well. to it. Yeah, yeah, he's pound for pound. He's probably one of the toughest uh, yeah. footballers in the in the competition. And uh, he's used to all that sort of stuff. Ladder takes it out of the ruck again. McLaughlin taps it on towards Adam Joseph. Keeps it in front of him, then kicks off the ground. Ladder runs through, can't trap the ball. Keek and can. He's had a pretty good second quarter so far. Hill running through McLaughlin. Handball towards Travis Kelly. Has to get a quick kick away. And there's a, there's a bit on it. That's half, unbelievable. Bit on it half forward for the East he's Belmont side. And he's paid a free kick to Rathji. Him and Travis Kelly were just exchanging phone numbers for later this evening, I think. Rathji, kick, poor. Frost in the middle, takes an uncontested mark, played on, and Scott was just behind him. He was just waiting for him to play on. Johnny Lyon sells the dummy sensationally. Goes along with his right boot. Buchanan getting back there. Harris also, he might be injured, but he still knows where the ball's going to go, and Harris relieves the pressure, comes to the grandstand side towards Ladder, who's also played well in this game. Left foot kicks a shocker up towards Westwick, leading out. Williamson's there. Keegan, handball to McLaughlin. McLaughlin's been pretty good too today. Long torpedo punt. Oh, Posman's back there with nobody on him and takes an uncontested mark. He plays on. He's going to go long. It's two on one. Getting back there, Legal. He has to stand his ground. Oh, great work, Legal. Lacuno, that's Nick running through also. And he's going to be able to settle up the ladder and relieve the pressure. And the big man, that was great play, Jamie Legal. Legal now. He's got Ratchy long. He's going to go in that direction on the outer side wing. And also Neil getting back there. Uses the body in front, though. Frost. Lions can give it to Keegan. Handball towards Damian Kelly. Scragger Craig getting back there also. They're putting the pressure on the half forward, the Lions. Here it is again. Joseph, handball. He's got nobody there to handball it too. Vinnie Lehman runs through. Keegan sits and waits. Handball towards Franey. Traps it. Wants to go along with his right boot. He does. Lacuno getting back there. And also Harris. Oh, coming up, Buchanan. Paid the mark. Oh, a little bit lucky there, but... Got around him well. Yeah, made the attempt and uh, got his hands to it. Diving mark. And Cam Buchanan will have a chance to put his first goal on the board. And East Belmont's third. Yeah, Dave McLaughlin's doing well on his wing, as you mentioned, Jason. He's uh, pushed the ball forward a few times. And obviously, uh, Cam Buchanan's been their best forward to date. So, yeah, so it's been uh, boys are working. They've up their tempo in the second quarter. Buchanan now will be kicking from about 20 metres out. 45 degree angle. 
So we should have no trouble with the distance. Comes in now. He's kicked two behinds so far this afternoon. Comes in now, and he's put it straight through the middle. That's what you want. So it's Belmont move to 3-3-21. And Geelong West Cricket and Football Club, 8-6-54, 33 points of difference on the GDFL Bingo Centre. Second quarter scoreboard, and we've been going 24 minutes in this second quarter, so close to half-time, a good goal there. The pressure being kept on by East Belmont. So Yeah, they just uh, work hard, as I said, push the ball forward, and, um, yeah, it's a bit Cairns took a couple of good marks and stuff. He's just a bit stiff up to kick the goal before that. Could have racked up a couple, and, um, yeah, they're getting back into it. And the Rucks... Ruckman both working hard, Ladder and Keegan. Well, Justin's covered a lot of ground and uh, they're playing wide of each other. Trevor's doing a lot of work on the ground. Justin's probably beaten him in the air, but uh, as I said, they're playing wide of each other. So and Keegan gets a tap down towards Stern, sits and waits and takes the ball now. Up towards half forward, Harris stands there. Neil runs through, gives him the shepherd. Right foot kick out wide, running with the flight of the ball. Lyons takes a great mark. Johnny Lyons, great him mark. and Lehman yeah. ran with the flight. He's hurt himself also coming down there, but took a great mark. Kept his eye on the ball all the time. He's come off with a crook shoulder uh, in the first quarter there, Jason. He's still holding it there now. Yeah, handball out towards Stern. All over the back of the pack now, Posman. He's at 47. He goes for a vacant goal square. Is it going to bounce through? Oh, it has, but just for one behind. He probably had a little bit more time there to set something up, but uh, went for the kick straight away. Yeah. Well, Ernie, I think he's probably got to he's just start to pick up a few possessions. And, uh, he's probably got to get a bit more of the ball, I think. Yep. East Belmont 3-4, Geelong West 8-6, 30. Two points of difference. Oh, the kick out by Andy Harris was poor. He was looking for the lead of Neil there, but it went out without being touched. So Scott Robe will take the free kick at half forward. Close to half time, so the, the Lions would like another one before half time. Play on now. Ian Alley runs at him. Oh, bad play there. Rathji with his right boot. Kicks towards the wing. Coming out. The love child. Suckling on his hammer. Out of bounds now. Waiting for the... Both players are waiting for the umpire to pay for a kick. But the boundary umpire will come up and throw it in. On the wing position. And... Uh, it's going to be a throw in now. Keegan's going to do the ruck work for East Belmont. And Rathji is going to do the ruck work for... The Cheaters, he gets a second attempt. Rix is there on hands and knees, back towards Suckling, has to run back towards the Cheaters' goal. Kick off the ground there by Stern. Short little tap away towards Rix, up towards Ian Ellie on the wing, takes a good diving mark. And Frankie now. The oldest bloke in the side now. The oldest bloke in the side with your retirement, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ian Ellie now goes towards Stewie Scott, and also Stern goes up. Frost at the back of the pack. Good kick too towards Damien Kelly. He's got, oh, he dummies the handball to Posman. Now gives it to him. He hasn't got much up forward. The lead's on now by Campy. Takes a mark in front of Sam Lacino. Still a long way out from goal. Ladder gets back there also. He has, so he has to wait for a couple of players to get back there. He goes long. Ladder's going to have to sit on this. He goes up and he's going to, oh, he didn't take the mark though. Buchanan runs through his legs. But a free kick. He was held without the ball. And Cam Buchanan will take it. So Ladder should have taken that, uh, that mark, Gus. Yeah, well, that's very yeah. interesting, isn't it? How the turnovers happen so easy. I mean, he's probably took, uh, he's probably had eight or ten marks for the game. They're all been uh, harder than that one. <laughs> he's dropped that one, yeah. and uh, someone's pulled uh, Cam over for a free kick. So uh, interesting. Now Buchanan's had a couple of kicks from uh, this territory before. He's about 25, 30 metres out, 45 degree angle. He comes in now. Kick off the boot is good. Good kick, Cam Buchanan, and they're just starting to get back into this game a little bit. Uh, East Belmont. Yeah, they're starting to get a bit of. A him up and what a way to punish it. If you're going to drop a mark, you don't want it to be inside 60, do you? And uh, for Ruckman to do that sort of stuff. Well, anyway, Juzzer, he's uh, just a bit stiff there and probably a little bit soft, the free kick, I suppose. It depends on which way you look at it. It was there and it wasn't. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, they starting to make a game of it now. Geelong West Cricket and Football Club, 8-6-54. East Belmont, 4-4-28. GDFL Bingo Centre, second quarter scoreboard. So, 26 points of difference and uh, pretty close to half time so another goal to East Belmont would make it extremely interesting second half here at Baker's Oval. Poor bounce down Stern taps it out towards Keegan on hands and knees again as Gus said he's done most of the work on the ground this afternoon with ladder being in the air. Pack develops and we'll have another ball up in the centre square it's brought up now. Keegan goes up high gets a tap down, falls towards Harris who can't trap it he can now towards Ladder. Ladder's on hands and knees on this occasion, and he's wrapped up by Franey and Posman. Good comments from the boundary there, Jason. Yeah, I, 
abusive, but uh, it's all right for them blokes to stand there and say it, but they're only watching, they're not out there. Straight up now, ladder now, goes out towards Kelly at half forward. Kicks it on up towards Sam Lacino, close to the boundary line. Yeah, he was out. Good week from the boundary umpire there. So a boundary's thrown at half forward for East Belmont. So in the forward line for the Lions, Keegan and Ladder. Keegan gets it down towards Franey. Can't take the ball him. Harris, handball across half forward. Scrag uh, half back. Scrag Craig, left foot kick up towards Wet, uh, Wigmore. He takes the mark. He kicks it out in front of Cowie. Now he's going to have to lead out a long way and get it. He has to sit and wait over the back there. Joseph running through. He's got support. Suckling pack develops at centre half forward and ball up. Good so movement there from half back to to the uh, between half forward and full forward line there. Thrown up now. Tap away. Oh, balls Sneller over. Rathji handball across. Got to put his teammate under pressure there. Truant falls on it. Handball out towards Lehman. Scrappy play across half forward now for the Cheaters. They've got the numbers here off the ground. Stewie Scott, McLaughlin traps it. Handball towards Frost. Has to sit and wait. Handball to Ricks. Puts him under pressure. Puts McLaughlin under pressure. Didn't have the ball. We got a free kick. Down there, it looks like it's true. And Scragger Craig, short little kick towards Warren. Good pick up by the big man. Handball back towards Scragger Craig. They're close to the boundary line. Handball back to Warren. The Lions have got the numbers. Good pressure by East Belmont here. Ernie Posman, he's got the ball. He's wrapped up. Gets rid of it. Close to the boundary line. It has to be out now. It is. It's on the full. Free kick's going to go to East Belmont. Ricks is going to take it. So he's just the defensive side of wing. Short little kick towards Franey. Has to sit and wait. Going to be wrapped up by Harris. No free kick. McLaughlin. He's wrapped up also now. And the umpire says it's his, and he will ball it up at half forward. Good pressure there, Jason. And Scotty Truen not looking too good over there on the wing position for Geelong West. Yeah, I don't know what he's done there. He's doubled up and he's a fair way from his side, it's mm. hard to say. Keegan goes out towards Truen, who comes straight back in to the play. Could have given away a free kick. Cook goes yeah, back yeah, towards Frost. Frost, the right foot kick long. Ladder getting back there. Can he take this mark? He can. That's better from Justin Ladder. He wouldn't have wanted to drop the second one. Oh, with his non-preferred foot too. Goes out towards half forward. Running onto it there was Williamson. Falls to the back of the pack. Westwick now. He's got time to set something up. The lead's on from Cowie. He goes in that direction and Cowie takes a good diving mark. Interesting, as we talked about before, Westwick has probably only had uh, no one or ten possessions, but they're all been very good, very and productive, which is uh, good because he hasn't played for uh, over 12 months. He, he didn't play, the uh, last game he played was probably in 94. So uh, he's missed the first three or four games this year, so he's come back and it's good. Now the siren sounded, so this will be the last kick of the half. Cowie goes in and it'll be a good kick for goal it is. He's kicked his first goal of the quarter and fourth for the match, so a good way for uh, Geelong West to finish off after... East Belmont were coming back into that uh, quarter and coming back into the match. And Geelong West Cricket and Football Club have ended up nine goals, 6-60. And East Belmont, 4-4-28. So 32 points of difference at half time. And we'll just sit at Geelong West, 9-6-60. They kicked uh, four goals, one in that quarter. And East Belmont, well, they nearly matched them on the scoreboard. They kicked three goals, three. So just a bit of pressure there from East Belmont. In the middle stage of that second quarter, got them back into it, but that goal from Cow is going to hurt the uh, Lions. He's kicked four goals. Singles to Truen, Hill, Cook, Rathji and West. Wick well for East Belmont. Two to Cam Buchanan and singles to Dave Franey and Glenn Frost. Some of the better players in that second quarter. Well, McLaughlin, as we said, has had a pretty good half of football. Uh, also, Cam Buchanan finished off with a couple of goals in that quarter. And Adam Joseph is playing quite well across halfback also. And as we said, Trevor Keegan doing a lot of hard work on the ground. And for Geelong West, well, Stuart Scott, as we said, went out of it a bit. Justin Ladder played pretty well. Frank Ellie and Ingwerson went also went off with a uh, with an injury. And uh, just looking down the list also, Vinny Lehman did okay. And uh, we said Scotty Truen had some sort of injury there. And he's not looking too good uh, limping back towards the Geelong West uh, huddle in the middle of the ground. So we'll have to find out and see what happens to him in the second half. But at uh, half time, Geelong West, 9-6-60, lead East Belmont, 4-4-28. And uh, a margin of 32 points at half time. We'll be back with the second half of the GDFL match of the day after this on Guest Video.